everybody. Welcome to my car. My name is Becky and I am so excited that you're here today. So we're doing things a little bit different today. I need to go run a couple of errands and pick up a few things that we're going to need for a party that we're having. And not only are you invited to this party, but you are also going to help me plan and execute some projects. Um, it is going to be a Hocus Pocus 2 viewing party and it is it's planned for Friday night. Um, what is that? The 30th, but it may not happen on Friday night because, um, as you all know, Hurricane Ian is going to be coming through Florida within the next day or so. And we are in North Carolina. Now we're not expected to get hurricane weather, but we could very well get damaging rains and flooding and things like that. So we really don't know what to expect. We just expect the worst and you know, just pray for the best. Um, we are praying for all the, all the folks in Florida for a hedge of protection to be around them and their homes and all of their belongings during this storm. So we're thinking about you guys up here in North Carolina. Um, but so we may have to reschedule the party till maybe Saturday or Sunday and that's fine. That's not a big deal what's most important is that my family is not out on the road if the rains are bad you know it's just not worth it but I am gonna start getting everything ready and planned for the party and we're just gonna um, do a couple projects one of the projects that I'm doing is gonna take a couple of days um, of planning and prep work so we're gonna go to Walmart real quick and pick up a few items that we need for that project and I guess I can go ahead and tell you what it is I'm gonna build a cauldron a cauldron stand and I want the um, smoldering pit underneath it like uh, charcoal so I'm gonna get a few things that I've seen online to DIY that project and I just wanted you to be a part of the whole process from beginning to end and the beginning is going to the store and shopping for the item so we're gonna do this together so let's get started let's run into Walmart and then um, not everything will be today. Of course, we're going to have to spread this over a couple of days because we have to wait for drying, um, drying time. And then David's going to make um, the kind, the stand, the little tripod stand. He's going to build that for us and help us out with the project. But it's going to be really cute when it's all said and done. And we're going to have a cute little tablescape. And then my family's coming over. And we're just going to have a little get together and we're going to watch the movie together. And if you can see, I did cut my hair. <laughs> it needed it so desperately. It doesn't look the best right now because I just got off work, but it is shorter and more healthy right now. So, all right, let's get started. <music> All right, raise your hand if Walmart gives you road rage. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so glad to be out of there. Um, I got almost everything I needed in there, but they don't have any cauldrons. I need a little plastic cauldron, little cheap cauldron, nothing big, nothing fancy. Um, so I'm gonna run over to the Home Depot and see if they have it there really quickly because they're just down the street, they're not far, but it's almost six o'clock and I've got to get home and get dinner started. So I only had a little bit of time to look, but I'm gonna check in Home Depot and see if they have any cheap black cauldrons. <music>
So this is what I got. It was $10 and it's the best I could find. And it actually already has the chains on the inside. So that, you know, that's worth the extra money. Um, I've been to four different stores and could not find a cauldron anywhere, but this one I think will work. I got another can of spray paint because I don't know that that one's going to be enough. And it's just the cheap, the cheapest thing on the shelf. Um, I can, I can make it look a little dirty. I just have to, um, I need some oatmeal and some glue and I can make it look like it's, um, what do you call it? Like it's just been cooked on for a hundred years. I can make it look old. I just need to work on it. But we got our cauldron. We got our other things and we're going home. Okay, I don't have any oatmeal. So I'm going to use what I have in the uh, cabinet. I have some special K. It does not have any sugar on it. So I'm going to crumble up a few of those and mix it up with Mod Podge. Every single one of these has been open. I don't know why I don't use one one jar at a time, but we're just going to use all these extras and make a concoction. Okay, you guys are gonna have to overlook the way I am dressed and everything right now. This is me crafting and painting and doing all that. I don't wanna get my clothes dirty. So I have this box, it's a pretty large box. I'm gonna cut out a big circle here and this is gonna be the embers. It'll be the base to my embers. So here's how the story goes. You take the cardboard, you cut it out, you put your lights down first, and then you go over the lights with this insulating foam, and then you spray paint the foam to look like burning embers, so it would have red and orange and black. And then when you turn the lights on, supposedly the lights will glow through the foam. So that's what I'm gonna try, we're gonna try it. So hopefully we've had good luck so far with the bowl or the cauldron. Um, so hopefully this will follow suit and we won't have any issues. All right, I've got my strand of lights here. I'm gonna put those down first, but I wanna just say that I took the extra cardboard and laid it down flat because the foam is going to expand and I don't want it to get on my table. And now that I think about it, I probably should lay down like some wax paper down here to make sure that it doesn't connect to the cardboard. Um, I might need to think about that for just a second and work through that in my head. Um, okay, we're gonna we're gonna keep going, but the lights are gonna be we're just gonna lay them down and the foam is gonna hold them.
Now, before you start, please make sure that when you start, you're gonna be able to finish because once this is a one-time use can because once that foam gets stuck in that straw, you can't come back later and use it. This is, you know, now or never. So just wanted to make sure you know that. it will expand so I'd like for it to cover this but I don't know how much how far out it's gonna come so I wanted to give it a minute I don't want it to be too much over but it's a terrible sound let me let, me let you hear it hold on <laughs> It may come over a little bit there. It may not. I'm not really sure. Don't touch this with your hands. Make sure you've got, see the can's gone already. <laughs> it doesn't take much, does it? Um, don't touch this with your hands. Once it gets on your hands, it will not come off for days. Um, so wear rubber gloves. I haven't touched it yet, but I do have my gloves here ready. But that's all that can would would put out so that's good to know I think it's enough I think we've got enough to do our project but if you've got a, a bigger project just keep that in mind that there's not a lot in this can it's 12 ounces so try to scoot a little bit out on the corner here but I think it's done yeah it's done and because I'm really curious and impatient I want to see what it looks like lit up if it's gonna shine through so yeah you can kind of see what's happening <laughs> it's gonna look like embers coming through so yeah that's gonna work okay so that's all I'm gonna do for tonight I'm gonna let my bowl dry I'm gonna let the foam dry and tomorrow when I get off work we're gonna spray paint yellow I've got red and I've got black so we're gonna try it and see what happens so I'm not sure if the color should go on first or if the black should go on first we're gonna try it both ways and <clears throat> we're gonna see okay Let's start with red. All right, let's add some orange. And some yellow. the black doesn't just cover up everything we did. I'm going to go real light and see what happens.
This was the paint from Lowe's and it is hard to spray. <laughs> Embers. Hmm. <laughs> oh no. I feel like Picasso. If you get the like the top and make it look kind of crusty, that's the way you want to go. Maybe. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna light this up and see what happens. So go heavy on the pointy parts. I think that's what it seems to be looking like. And then like you can barely see the red and the other colors. So I'm gonna see what it looks like lit up. Looks like a brisket, doesn't it? You can see it even more. Here, let me take the camera off the tripod. You can see it even more with it being black, being spray painted black. That is too cool. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go get David and show him. Okay, so now I'm gonna paint my cauldron. Just so you know, it's the same night. I have no patience whatsoever. I had to see this project <laughs> finished because I was so excited. Everything was looking so good. And for once, and I don't know how long, my project was actually working and coming together as planned. So, you know, I was so excited. I just wanted to finish it. So I'm gonna spray paint this. This is still a little wet, but it's still not falling off. It's doing a good job of holding. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray it and maybe that'll act as even more of a glue. stop for the night right now because I need to do a second coat because I don't want it to be drippy looking so this is what I have so far and it's looking good I think it's looking like a pot that has been cooked on for a long long time and then if you look down here you'll see where he cut a hole down there for me and that is to um, put the cord because we're gonna run some green lights down there and then make it all glowy looking. So the cinnamon does add another layer, but it's kind of like an up close type of thing. You really don't see it unless you're up close, but I do like the matte black on there. And I think it's, it's looking good. It's coming together. I'm excited about it. 
Okay, I think what the cinnamon is for is to make it look like it's rusted because if you can see that where I missed getting the spray paint over the cinnamon, that looks really cool. And I think that might be what the cinnamon is for. Is for. But it did add an extra um, bit of texture to my pot. So I like that. The next day, first thing in the morning, I put my paint shirt back on because I wanted to get this um, stand painted. I'm getting ready to go to work, so I only have a minute. Um, I was excited to finish because everything was coming together so well, and I really wanted to see it put together. So everything's dry, and I'm gonna put it together for you real quick. So here's the stand that David made. We had, um, he just kind of rigged this up on his own but he just cut a big circle and some thin pieces of wood. He really didn't want me to film a lot with him making it last night because he just wasn't feeling it. <laughs> he, he didn't want to be on the camera last night. So um, I got a little bit of footage, but I was trying to be respectful, so I didn't get a lot. But he just took these thin pieces of wood and did them like a teepee. He's got rope tied up here, but he also used that wood glue. I know I've shown it to you before. He used the wood glue and then one single brad nail to hold it in at the bottom. And it's pretty sturdy and I've got it painted. And then here's our um, our coals, our em um, embers. Yeah, our embers. I'm gonna light these up. Um, let's see, I'm gonna put this right here. Can you see? All right. And then my pot has turned out pretty well. Looks like it's been used a long time, I think. And then I want the hole to be towards the other um, cord. So I'm going to turn these, turn it this way so that the cords, can, the holes can be in the same place. And I'm just gonna slide this in here. Now this pot came, <coughs> excuse me, this pot came with these um, chains, thank goodness, or I would have had to have bought some and had them cut and get this turned the right way. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna take this out first and then put the pot up, maybe. And give me a little bit more room here. He got it a little tight, but that's that's fine. Um, we don't have a lot of room on the table, and it is going on the table like as a centerpiece. We got two hanging. Hold on, it's it's hung here. Here we go. And here's the other two. Where's the hole? Here it is. I got one more. Okay. Oh, it's over here. Okay. So there's my pot, and now I'm going to put the, the embers back in there. Now this worked last night, what's going on? Hold on, having some technical difficulties. It worked last night. <laughs> I knew it was, it was bound to happen. So I think what happened is that the foam, I didn't let it dry um, completely last night. It wasn't completely dry, 
when I put it under there and it's expanded even more. It's even bigger than it was last night and I think that's why it's not fitting. So I think David's gonna have to make some adjustments. Of course, nothing can go together easy for me. It's always gotta be a challenge. And for whatever reason, you guys are bound and determined to be present for every one of my challenges. Okay, all right, it's not gonna fit.